hello lovelies and welcome back to my channel and on today's episode we are making black soup the local way which you have never seen before so if you want to enjoy this recipe please stay tuned as i'll be taking you through all the ingredients and all the cooking processes right after this intro don't touch the dial So you're welcome back here is the palm oil and here is the protein i'll be using for this recipe in this plate i have my beef and also the goat meat you can see the choice of beef i'm using for this recipe here is the hot chicken which will be cooking with the goat meat here is the stock fish and dried fish nicely washed and here is my pepper leaf which is the oziza leaf as you can rightly see and here is the scent leaves nicely washed here is the spring Spinach, yes, I'm adding spinach and also bitter leaf, also soaked over there. So here also I have the salt to taste, and also here are the dried ingredients I'll be using. I have the Cameroon pepper, I have my normal red pepper, I have the bay, I also have the black pepper, I have the seasoning cubes. That is all the dried ingredients we will be using for this recipe. So I want to also tell you that the bay will give it that local and nice taste. That is why I'm adding it. So in this bowl, I have my blended crayfish. And fresh pepper and here is the white onions i also have the red onions at the other corner which you'll be seeing later that's all you'll be needing to make this recipe so first thing first people i'll be cooking the goat meat and the chicken the hot chicken in the pressure cooker and now i'll be cooking the normal beef and the stock fish in the other pot so keep watching As you are watching the separation process, I'm separating the goat meat from the normal beef and I'll be adding the hot chicken in the pressure cooker. As you're watching all of this, please remember to like, remember to share, comment at the end of this video and in case you're new, please don't forget to hit the subscription button as that will take me a long way. Also, I'll be adding the stock fish into this and I'll be seasoning the boats at the same time. I added salt at both sides and I'll add it also the seasoning cube I divided into two you can see the sharing process yes tell me if I'm sharing well and also don't touch the dial look at it. also the pepper everything right into the pot I added every ingredient except the oil and the little of black pepper and one seasoning cube that I added later on so people I'll be adding in the onions when this has steamed up and of course I'll be boiling my hot water at the other corner remember I use hot water because it helps to fasten the cooking process and not slowing it down that is a tip you must not forget in this recipe so I added the onions and I'll also be opening the pressure cooker and I'll be adding the other onion into it so keep watching So please, a tip not to forget in this recipe. When you are cooking with the pressure cooker, once the button is up, please take it off the fire so that it doesn't splash hot water on you. And when you want to open it, make sure the buttons are down so that you can open properly. So here I added in the dry fish and the stock fish into the pot of the beef. And you can see everything is cooking properly and gradually. So, so right now I'm going to switch on the button of the pressure cooker. You can see the smoke went down. So this is cooking and when the button is up I'll take it down this is the time to blend all the vegetables first thing I'm blending here is the words the bitter leaves I've, I've already washed the bitter leaves please don't wash out the bitterness of the bitter leaf that is the only way you will enjoy this recipe please don't forget that tip is very very important and I blended the bitter leaf and the oziza leaf all together please subscribe in case you have not as you are seeing this subscription calling you to subscribe in case you're new and people please be careful with the water you add because water is also a factor to consider in making this recipe make sure you don't add too much water add water to the level of what you are blending and make sure it blends properly because that is the key point of making this recipe so keep watching
please note that this soup is from the Edo side of Nigeria. So it is a local soup for the Edo people. I hope I'm getting it right. So at this point, you can see we are done blending all the vegetables and now we have to see that our pressure cooker has cooked well and also the beef and the pot and the stock fish also cooked well. So at this point, I'll be adding in everything that is in the pressure cooker into the cooking pot of the beef and so enjoy it. After adding all the beef, I then added in my palm oil. This is the time to add in the palm oil so that it will retain its color even towards the end of the cooking. So you can see the quantity I'm adding. Just use your eye and boil it. So eye boiling is what I used. I used my eyes to size it and then that's what I poured in. Then I cover the pot and I allow that to cook. Keep watching. So as you can see this has cooked up and I opened the pot and then I'll be pouring in all the blended leaves into the pot after I have stirred just as you just saw me stirring. So keep watching. Points to note people, I added in all the blended leaves except the spinach leaf which I just showed to you and that is because the spinach is soft, all the other leaves were dry leaves and you can see I've not added in the red onions. Once this boils up, I'll add in the red onions and then add in the spinach leaf towards the end. Just keep watching people and also note that this soup is ready when the oil starts settling on top. So this time I'll be adding in the red onions finely chopped into the pot and after that I'm going to be adding in the spinach but let's just keep watching people and I've already tasted for salt all seasonings and everything was in order thumbs up this video people don't forget to share comment and also don't forget to subscribe in case you're new the spinach leaves had just been added and people also know that this is the only way you get it right and once the oil settles on top it means it's ready i've already adjusted the seasoning to make sure i get a right taste and the consistency of this soup matters a lot you can see it is not running it is just moderate so people cover and let this cook up once you see the oil it is ready you take it off the fire that is the point we are right now look at the oil coming on top of it meaning this is ready and it is ready and it is ready so keep watching because i'll be dishing this and tell me why you'll be taking this down from your own end because i took my down with my fufu <laughs> and it tasted nice thumbs up those video people thumbs up those video it goes a long way and don't forget to comment at the end of this video i totally appreciate you people for always coming to watch please don't get offended if i'm not responding to your comments i have a busy schedule this time but i'm just trying to post videos and truly speaking i'm going to respond to all comments once i get the time to do so look at everything so delicious thanks all for watching up to this time on the good and pleasant note it will be a great pleasure to have your beautiful and gorgeous looking faces in the next episode of mom as a kitchen and more remember i love you all but in all god loves you most see you all in the next one bye bye